Well, hello and welcome back to the big board. Let's have a conversation about the Dark Sands, War in North Africa, 40 through 42. This is a Ted Racier game from GMT. And look at me being all professional. That must be because I'm all suited up and ready to roll and uh, go do some real work versus have fun playing games. But I thought I'd take a few minutes to give you my early, very early impressions after finishing the first scenario and and giving uh, giving you my I guess some you know some insights etc or whatever not really insights but just more opinions I think so that's the lone Commonwealth unit left on the board fearless Aussies from the ninth there's a few hapless dudes over here which I believe are eliminated actually because they're out of supply and at the in the attrition phase at the end phase of the sequence of play you kill things and I just got to check to see whether you kill them or, or they lose a step but I, I believe they're eliminated anyway so <clears throat> there are not a lot of units left on the board and the first you know your first reaction is probably well gosh that just has to be broken and you would be wrong because I am a horrible game player uh, I made the mistake of uh, putting units in Gazala uh, to defend that uh, across this uh, piece of terrain, which is a, a ridge, right? And it was protected on this flank because it's got the escarpment there. And I was thinking, this is great. Well, it turns out that those units were scheduled to be withdrawn. And unlike a lot of uh, games, or I shouldn't say a lot of games, unlike some games... When you're scheduled to be withdrawn, you just pick those suckers up off the map and move and you take them off. You don't move them away and you don't really get a chance to go, oops. So I did not pay close enough attention to these wonderfully organized turn tracks of reinforcements. The red boxes are units that are withdrawn, green ones, uh, units coming in and all sorts of fun stuff like that or upgrades or whatever the case may be. I believe they're upgrades actually. So... I kind of screwed up there a little bit and that was all my fault. So let me just switch around here for a second. There we go. I'm going to keep doing this. So I guess that's not going to work while I'm filming. Anyway, I was trying to swap cameras. Let's talk about the, the overall situation. You're, you are in, a, in the overall command of the theater, so it's a theater-wide responsibility. Your, your OB is as detailed as any OB at this scale. We sort of dig down into the brigade level with the occasional and regimental level, and there's the occasional battalion of uh, tanks or whatever the case may be, I believe. Uh, here we go. It's a battalion of armored cars, right? So it does get down to a couple of battalion scale units, but very, very few. Air is abstracted in terms of it being combat factors that are added to the to the battle, right? Art works quite nice on them. Uh, same with naval. Supply is handled in the typical dark sands, dark valley manner. There are two logistics chit in the chit pull cup. And if I fail to mention that it's chip pull, it's chip pull. And this is where it gets interesting and the replay value just goes uh, up and up and up. And, and one of the reasons why this particular scenario ended up the way it did. If I had, had not have won as the Germans, I was consider, considering continuing the campaign play. <clears throat> but I think what I'll do is I'll set up the next scenario and then we'll kind of go forward from there and, and see what happens and see if that allows me to go through uh, and carry on with the campaign. It's coming back to these chits. So each turn, each two month turn, has a British and access line here and you're doing just like you would have done with the Dark Valley here. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. <clears throat> and you can see that there are two move chits, two move combat half chits. Uh, Rommel, Africa Corps, 21 Corps, two full move or combat chits, and two half uh, move or combat chits. So the cadence of the combat changes over time. The cadence of the gameplay changes over time. 
uh, there's so there's there's some nuance to that because it really does depend on when the chits come out. You've got two logistics chits in there. You've got a reinforcement chit in there. You've got something else. What else is in the bucket for next turn? I put the chits in for next turn. And then you've got uh, there are some commander things. So you've got like well I mentioned Rommel, uh, but Rommel and Africa Corps and Twenty One Corps and O'Connor and Monty and all that sort of stuff. They have some special capabilities. The Eighth Army has some special capabilities. And it gives a lot of really good flavor to the game. Now, I, I think I, I don't think I have my copy of the Dark Valley anymore because I was offered a, a lot of money for it and I sold it because I needed to pay for camera equipment and more games and bits and pieces. So uh, I need to start a GoFundMe or something. You people, why, why don't you people send me money? Uh, so. Uh, I was surprised at how short the rules were. We got 20 pages of rules here. And with this few counters and this uh, you know, limited geographical area that we're playing in, I found that this played incredibly quickly. And, and where, where I felt like with the Dark Valley, which I played three or four times, I played the campaign twice and then I played the ball blau or whatever it's called. I played case blue. I played that scenario. Uh, this, this moved really, really quickly. There's only, you know, there's only a dozen counters on the time for each side and sometimes there's less. Uh, so it went really well and I really enjoyed it. And one thing it did pull out to me was that, you know, this is, this feels more to me, and now I'm probably going to step into dangerous waters because it's been a while, but it feels more to me like a an Avalon Hill style D-Day or Waterloo or, you know, but modernized version of that with chip pull. And I'll, let me just uh, explain a little bit about that. 